definitely excited to go to Sacramento one of these days. If you're in Sacramento, check out Papa Chino. What are you doing in Sacramento? Who knows? Who knows? No. We haven't planned that yet. But I want to go. It'd be cool. All right. Two veteran latte artists with a bunch of XP ready to rock and roll. Uh, Sam, known for pouring his swans. Uh, definitely, definitely. Oh, in a portado class. Oh, wait, really? Oh, I see, I see. Just, wow. I love it. I love it. Sorry, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. No, no. What, so, Interesting shaped picture. The chat wants to know, how do you feel about animal designs in this tournament? Uh, I, I appreciate animal designs, and I think they have a place in this tournament. I think the rule structure needs to change for that to be um, applicable to this tournament. I don't think that right now it couldn't be done, but I think there's a lot of like vagueness in some of the rules that, you know, you see animal pores, it might be tough because sometimes animal pores can be very crisp. Sometimes, oh, we have a shot completely oh. not going in the cup. Oh. I'm not sure that was intentional. Definitely not intentional. Or if they're I just running that shot at this point because they've already gotten what they need. Oh. oh, they already got what they need. They're just letting it run. All right. Interesting. I'll answer your question in a minute. Javi, we got the pores coming out right here. Simple wing uh, wing base with not a lot of ripples, I think. Or maybe a solid frame. Sorry, oh, solid so, frame. So it, Sam oh. was not pouring in a cortado. He just transferred his shot to the different cup. Interesting. Looks like Daniel's going to take a very simple heart. And Sam could easily crush a heart with pretty much anything, but with a thin milk swan, it's tough. I know. I wonder um, if Daniel had time for a second pour. I honestly think the swan could hold up here. Let me see. Again. I think if Daniel, or sorry, if Sam put that swan down, it has a strong chance. Yeah. Though it okay, is so thin. Sam's going for a second pour. 30 seconds. Don't think that Plenty Sam of time. Hasn't. Just get a little more air. They got to rush it. As long as they don't do anything crazy. Uh, 20 seconds. Don't think there's enough time to pour us another swan. If they started pouring right in the next, like, five seconds, yes. I know, I know, I know. Ah, too much prep. Too much time. Don't add, don't have too much milk. No, uh, no, drop, drop, please. Drop. Oh. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That was impressive. I thought he had no chance. No chance. <laughs> I, I literally was like, you're done. Sorry. Sorry, Sam. Wow. Wow. That was impressive. And because, like, listen, a heart is really beautiful and Daniel's pour is great. I think because it's a heart, it makes it a little trickier because most things can beat a heart yeah. in a competition like this. Only because the judges are looking for difficulty. They are looking for color. And you can see here, even in the last second, Sam got color distribution, line clarity, and degree of difficulty. You don't even, I mean, but they both have underfilled cups. Yeah. Sam did not have an opportunity to clean, but we don't know if there's any smudges on there. Yep. Daniel has a comp, like, kind of a messed up milk texture, but otherwise a really beautiful pour. It's also been sitting there for a while. Yeah. But not a lot of color, not a lot of lines, so it's hard to get points there. I know. Hey, at least. Daniel Symmetry. Something. Symmetry, speed. Yeah. Yeah. Execution, perhaps. Oh, man. Yep. You never know. It actually still could be a 4 3. Will the heart win around? It can. It has in the past, yes. Um, With the buzzer beater. I think it's going to go to Sam, but narrowly. I would not be surprised if they gave it to Daniel by a one point, though. Because think about it, if the heart got symmetry, if for some reason they said this doesn't get you execution, the busted base, and then the heart gets speed, and let's say Sam has a big dribble on the side, that's four points. You're right. That's four You're points. Right. You could win You're it. Right. I'm not saying that's what they'll do, because Sam definitely has color and line clarity. No, that is exactly what you're saying. But they are Em's. pointing at the cups. So. <laughs> Em's got the heart. She's I think I'm going to go. Chat. I think Sam should take this win based on the pour. I think they might give it to Daniel based on the judging. I thought the swan was great. I also thought the swan was great. It was just thin. Yeah. A little broken, but they still would have counted. Like, they would have taken off execution, but you would have gotten all the other points. Is, oh, you wouldn't have gotten symmetry, I Is guess. there any benefit from moving your shot glass from one cup to another? If you're using a really dark roast, it can help break up the crema. It can also help you. See what Sam has a much more even canvas, though Daniel has a darker canvas. Sam broke up a lot of their canvas, but... 
it looks more even, and that just makes it easier, I think, visually and physically. I don't do that technique. Ryan Soder does do that technique. Legend in the latte art scene, Ryan Soder, used to use Cortado uh, Gibraltar glasses and would transfer. One time I watched one of them shatter on stage. Oh, love to see that. Because uh, they weren't tempered, I guess, or something was going on. I think they were like knockoffs. <laughs> Very unique styles here in New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> Very unique styles. You know, again, I go back to just keeping it simple in the first round. You know, stacks can win these. Keep it simple, but I would say if you're going to go for a heart, maybe go for stacks, like Javi's saying. Like, try to put a, a few more. Beautiful shot of our judges here. Yeah. Beautiful. Very blue oh, but if we, look, if we look right here, we can see a huge spill on the heart. Oh. And so while while Sam might have a spill and under Phil, oh, I think they're gonna give it to to um, to Daniel. To Daniel, yeah. Because I think I think Twiz taking his head like that is like I can't believe I'm gonna give this to the heart right now <laughs> against the Rosetta. Well, we may get another split wrong. decision. I'm making assumptions now. With the buzzer, too. With it was crazy, buzzer. yeah. That was crazy. Chat, who do you have? Chat, be, be, be brutal. We got? we got left or right. All right. I think the longer we wait, uh, it always goes the opposite of what we think is going to happen. All right, judges are... After Terika takes a bite, we'll get our announcement. Yeah. Eat your greens. It looks like Tarek has like got a little baby in her lap, but it's just a, it's just a green tray. It's just a green tray. It's just green, greens. I'm about it. All right. No. Twins is not happy. <laughs> Let's see what they say. I think you got this on the money, Em. I think you're reading Twiz's mind right now. <laughs> I think Twiz wants to vote for the Rosie, and I think the other two might have. It might be a split. It but might I, be a split. Who knows? Wow. Oh. Who, call, who called it? Who called it? You called it, Em. That's right. 